Good morning, children. Today we are going to do the poem "Rain on the Roof" by Coates Skinney from the book uh, Beehive. And here uh, we can, as you can, you know, uh, from the from the title itself, we we come to know that the poem is about rain, and uh, the poet describes uh, the rain on the roof what he feels when it rains and uh, uh, the rain you know gives him a kind of happiness and he also goes back in his past he recalls his memories of the past and he enjoys the rain and according to the poet the you know the poet uh, he is describing the rain as the melody of nature and why melody of nature because when we read further in the poem uh, and as the title says rain on the roof so when it rains the sound of the raindrops on the roof is creating a very nice and a pleasing melody that you know uh, refreshes uh, the poet and this is uh, what he has described in these three stanzas so the first we'll do the first stanza and uh, it goes like this when the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears what a bliss to press the pillow of a cottage chamber bed and lie listening to the patter of the soft rain overhead so in the first stanza there are a few words uh, like humid uh, humid shadows so humid is when you know there is uh, moisture present in the atmosphere and that is humid but shadows in the uh, in the first stanza is it refers to the moisture laden clouds which cast a shadow on the earth and this uh, hover uh, that that moves around and then melancholy that means uh, uh, sad and bliss means uh, happiness then you have this word patter which is of course the sound of the raindrops falling on the roof and chamber is the um the bedroom uh, in a in a cottage so the poet here describes the first i mean the first stanza say a uh, describe is described like this that when uh, uh when the humid shadows hover that means the humid shadow is referred to the dark clouds which are full of uh, uh, water and uh, uh when when the clouds are full of water what happens it starts raining so when the uh when the clouds are full of water and the poet says that when the uh, uh when the sky is full of these clouds uh which are moisture laden and uh, they are about to you they are hovering in the sky they are moving in the sky and uh, uh uh bringing try to you know uh uh bring rain and what are they doing these clouds uh they move around in the sky over the starry uh, spheres that means over they are uh, uh, uh starry spheres uh refers to the sky at night which is full of stars and at that time huge clouds when the sky is full of stars uh, that is that time the huge uh, huge uh, clouds uh, which are full of moisture move around in the sky in the dark and they wipe off, uh, they wipe uh, off uh, by the raindrops so uh, all the stars are wiped off when it starts raining <clears throat> then uh which and these uh, the rain uh, falling down is compared to the tears 
that means the raindrops are like you know it uh, uh, the poet is comparing uh, uh, the rain to be crying and because the clouds are shedding off the the their droplets and that is uh, the tears and then he also adds in that it is like a blessing um, you know he says although the when it rains it is that the clouds are uh, they are crying but then to the poet it is like a blessing because uh, he is lying in his bed in his uh, on his bed in his uh, chamber in his cottage and he is listening to the sound made by the droplets that are falling on the roof and which pleases the poet so much so he is uh, he forgets everything and he enjoys the uh, the sound of the uh, of the droplets of water that are coming in the form of rain on on the roof so this is uh, the first stanza then we move on to the second one every twinkle on the shillings has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreamy fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections weave their their air threads into woof as i listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof so here in the second stanza we see that um, uh, tinkle tinkle is uh, it's a sound of a uh, it's a sound of a ringing something ringing you know a small bell and uh, uh, on the shingles shingles are actually you know sort of tiles um, uh, rectangular tiles that are uh, used on the roof so um, uh, if you have ever seen you know huts or uh, cottages uh, you must have seen that they are uh, uh, you know red colored uh, roofs now these uh, these are a kind of tiles and uh, uh, these tiles are rectang rectangular in color then you have woof which means the thread uh, woven across the uh, the loom and patter is of course the the sound of the raindrops and so here every tinkle on the shingle that means every drop of rain that falls on the on the on the roof uh, the poet is you know expressing his feelings here when he uh, hears the raindrops falling on the rooftop of his house and uh, he says that every sound on the on the tile or on the shingle it echoes in his heart so you know they make they echo uh, he keeps on hearing uh, the sound <coughs> the tinkling sound um, and uh, repeatedly so whenever he hears rain falling on the rooftop the sound uh, keeps repeating obviously when the rain is falling it's not that just uh, a drop will fall and then the rain is uh, uh, the rain stops but it's a continuous process so the rain keeps falling maybe for uh, 10 minutes for 15 minutes for half an hour for one hour so this is a continuous process and the uh, the the raindrops falling on the rooftop uh, they they keep uh, making this a tinkling sound and uh, this pleases the the poet the poet feels very pleased and then he dreams he uh, he starts dreaming because uh, he loves the rain so much and he dreams that he has uh, and and imagine uh, so many things he adds that the sound of the rain falling on the rooftop creates many new uh, you know uh, uh, many new dreams and uh, he says that uh, as he listens to the sound to the patter of the rain upon the roof he you know he 
his memories of the past they come come back to him uh, in the form of uh, dreams so he is uh, he recollects uh, he recollects his old memories and what is helping him to recollect his old memories the rain the sound of the raindrops falling on his roof then the third stanza uh, is now in memory comes my mother as she used in years agone to regard the darling dream, uh, dreamers or she left them till the dawn oh i feel her fond look on me as i list to this refrain which is played upon the shingles by the patter of the rain now er is the old um, a poetic uh, it's a word for before so it means it means before and dawn is of course uh, when the day breaks then um list is not uh, any kind of list that we make that you know uh, pen down everything to make a list but here the poet uh, by the word list he means uh, listen so um list is referred to listen and then refrain is a word uh it means repeated part of a of a poem or maybe of a song and uh, uh so here the poet says the uh, when it rains and when he is uh, he is thinking or imagining who is coming in his imagination whom is he imagining his mother and he says that he dreams of his mother as he had uh, uh uh you know in the previous uh, in the previous stanza we did that the rain brings uh, memories good memories of his past so this is connected and he says that the mother comes uh, in his dreams or he is imagining his mother that uh, who is uh, actually his mother is not alive so uh, she is no more but still the poet is remembering his mother and uh, that how in the past she used to love him a lot and she used to uh, uh consider him as uh you know uh as a darling and uh, she would uh, let him sleep till day break and have uh you know the boy used to the poet used to dream like you know um, many of the mothers they don't like to wake up their children so the children keep sleeping till late and so he is also uh, remembering his mother who loved him so dearly that she never used to wake him up and this poet used to get up very late and uh, uh, the poet uh, uh, is uh, um feel that his mother is looking at him and as he uh, is listening to the song of the rain that means as he is listening to the uh, to the rain drops falling he is dreaming of his mother he is remembering his mother and the um, and uh, uh, the sound of the rain makes him you know uh, he is relating um his past with his present so with i mean the rain drops what are the rain drops doing they are um, they are uh, relating the past and the present and uh, the poet um is so moved by the sound of the rain on the on the tiles or on the shingles um that whenever he hears this sound it brings uh Uh, you know brings his memories back and uh, he is mostly thinking of his mother so whenever it is raining uh, he only thinks of his mother that how his mother used to love him so dearly so this is uh, all in the poem and uh, i hope you've understood now as far as the questions are concerned 
uh, please i would like you all to read it yourself try to understand uh, the poem and uh, do the question uh, questions try to do the questions yourself um, i will be giving you some extra questions and uh, reference to the context also uh, but you try to do these uh, questions that are given here